One thing you can do is vote with your money. Stop giving money to people who lie to you. Okay? Now, I'll give you a little word of inspiration. I'll give you, uh, uh, this is a comment on the Patriot Act. It says our forefathers would think it's time for a revolution. This is why they revolted in the first place. They revolted against much milder oppression. And who said it? A Republican Congressman, Ron Paul of Texas. To vote against the Patriot Act was a very easy vote for me. Uh, to me, it was a, a clear violation of the civil liberties of all Americans. It was called Patriot Act because uh, they didn't want anybody to vote against it, claiming that if you didn't vote for it, you weren't a patriotic American citizen. I think it was probably the opposite way. I think uh, those who voted for it voted for a bill that undermined the uh, Fourth Amendment, the whole principles of individual freedom and liberty in this country. So it was very easy for me to oppose a bill that would just open up Pandora's box with search warrants and, and uh, the whole ability to uh, wiretap and listen to all our communications whether they were on the internet and check on websites, the whole works. It was very easy for me to vote against that bill. And uh, there are other actions taken by the administration, including military tribunals and uh, Attorney General Ashcroft's uh, announcement that he was going to wiretap attorney client conversations. How do those uh, uh, make you react? I, I guess there are two there. I don't like what he's doing, but the other part is, is how did we get to this point in our history? where our administration, our presidents, and our attorney generals do this by fiat. Just come up and declare, well, there's going to be new military tri tribunals set up, or we're going to wiretap uh, uh, communications between uh, the accused and their, and their lawyers. And, and they didn't even confer with the Congress. So I would say that's very bad. Of course, uh, there's the slippery slope there. They say, well, well we're only going to do this with the terrorists. Well, how do we know who the terrorists are if they haven't had a trial? So the whole thing is just uh, outlandish uh, for a country that pretends to uh, protect the rights of the uh, accused, and we challenge other countries like Peru in recent years for setting up these type of tribunals. Uh, so I, I think that uh, uh, moving in this direction is a serious challenge to the whole principles of the, uh, uh, the uh, Ten Amendments and the Constitution.